there might not be any application tonight. He started away. Equine athleticism at its best. Seven year old now, and he's still going strong, so hopefully, he'll be right on Saturday night and he can chase his bit of history. Be a hell of an achievement, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly, you know, and for no horse to ever do it before, and especially for this horse, like he's only come over here as a five year old and he's gone in three miracle miles, only been here for three years, and to do it for the first horse and he hasn't even been here his whole career, it'd be pretty special for him. Sure, he's definitely in with a massive chance. He, you know, King's run last week was exceptional, so he's going to be very hard to beat this week. But if um, anything goes my bloke's way, he's, he'll be there to dominate yeah, the race of your dream of being in. So to be able to get into it so young, I'm very thankful for the opportunity and you know very excited to be in it. He's got a nice straw and I give him a short squirt up the straight today and he felt pretty sharp so yeah, I think he can run a place and he'll be thereabouts. Yeah, okay. Um, what do you take out of last week's race? He sort of got through the pack and, and hit the line really well which was good in fast time so I think he'll improve on it again and uh, yeah, he'll be thereabouts as I said. Huge run last week to earn a spot in the race for Bundora and how you feel going into the mile? Yeah, pretty good. Um, he's had a good week and it was a super run, so yeah, we're excited. What do you take out of that run for a race like the mile? Uh, yeah, just hope that they run hard again and um, like at least we know we can run home and off that sort of speed as well, so that's good. What do you make of the draw? Yeah, pretty good. Like, um, sort of doesn't really matter where he draws, he only gets driven the one way, so yeah, we just hope we're close enough. Mac Dan, first horse to qualify for the Miracle Mile. Um, how's the past fortnight been? Yeah, well, he went back to Melbourne, so he just got back into his normal routine, but um, he seems fit and well, and yeah, we're very excited for tomorrow night. King of Swing is obviously the top performer of the field, and you know, if we can run anywhere near him, I think they'll be very happy. Look over the last 12 months, what he's done, like he's running the chariots, and then he came out and run second in a Miracle Mile last year behind King of Swing, and then he's gone on and he won the Australian Gold and then gone to Queensland. He performed well. He's seeing what he can do on a backup as well, like his Len Smith Wild Run was a touch disappointing, and then the next week he's come out and gone 48, so you can never rule him out, especially racing on a week to week basis, like he has for the last three weeks. So, no, he'll be right, he'll be right in the race, that's for sure. Joe OK, one of the emergencies, but uh, in, in great form. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's going very good. Uh, we hope we get a run, but, you know, it's pretty doubtful. But, yeah, he's going really good. I think even uh, he could be better this week than last week. So, yeah, got our fingers crossed that he gets a run, but he's very good. Yeah, if he gets a start, not without a hope. Oh, well, you know, the way the race is run, if they run it very hard early and that, you know, of course you hadn't got, a, hadn't got an average draw. 
But if the pressure's on early, which it could be, um, yeah, he's in it. He's probably a, a little bit behind those really top class horses, but he's done nothing wrong. You know, he won the Terrain Cup and um, everything else. And his performance last week, it was his first run at the track, and I thought he ran really well. And if he gets a start, you know, he'll just go back. And he's a really high speed horse, so he'll just come home late. Aaron, Bondi Lockdown's in the field. You must be super excited. Nah, it is very exciting, actually. It's nearly a dream to have a horse in, in a race like this. You know, you've got people like Mick Gurren reckon if he's not the best horse in Australia, he might be in six months, so hopefully he's right there. I think he's back to his best, and I think I'll just go into the race with that outlook. Super performance in the chariot supplier. How do you feel going into the mile? Yeah, look, really excited just to be a part of it, really. Um, obviously, the draw wasn't very favourable for us, but, um, yeah, we're not focusing on that at all. We're just happy to be here. We're, we're really happy with him. Um, we've been fortunate enough. We haven't missed any work throughout the, uh, the weather um, that uh, everyone's battled with over the last few days. So, um, yeah, we've got no concerns uh, from that point of view. It all depends on how the race gets run, of course. But, um, yeah, no, he's shown before that he, he can run the time, so he can, can, can compete with the best. Uh, just got to get the right trip.